Hey everybody, it's Charmelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a quick hair video for you all, so if you'd like to see more, please stay tuned. So the hair that I'm going to be talking about is in partnership with Cosmo Biz. They are an online beauty hair magazine. I have done videos for them before. I will link that video down below. But long story short, I am a beauty examiner for this company. So the hair that I'm going to be talking about today, it is the Triple X by Janet Collection. And it's basically a one, two, three step type of wig. So you can install it as a wig or as a sew-in. I did mine as a wig and I did do a full tutorial and installation process which will be inserted at the end of this video. But you get a frontal piece, a back piece, a middle piece, and a top piece and you basically layer these on top of each other. You so here's the step-by-step -step guide on how the system works. I will say that I was a little skeptical when I first seen it in the package, but it was really an easy one, two, three uh, type of step. So just a few details about the hair. The hair is a 16 inch. It was a little thin in my opinion, so in short, so I just kind of chopped it into this cute like blunt shoulder bob. The lace is a 13 by 4 lace, so it is from ear to ear, and you get about 4 inches of parting space. It is 100% Remy hair. This hair can be dyed, bleached, permed. You can put heat to it. Um, I did test it and try to dye some of the hair. I used 30 volume developer and um, bleaching powder. I only left it on for about 30 minutes. The hair did lift, but it didn't lift to like a blonde blonde color which I didn't expect it to I just wanted to see if it would actually work um, but I didn't want to do too much damage to the hair just because I didn't know how it was gonna react so yeah but it did lift when I used the bleaching powder yeah, one pack is good enough for a full head and yeah so now just a few thoughts on the hair I was thoroughly surprised when you think of pack hair you don't think of frontals you don't think of closures and you don't think long-term quality so I will say off top that this hair does not feel like your typical pack hair. Like it feels like bundles, um, especially the closure. The back pieces, they did feel a little more like pack hair, but the frontal for sure felt like a closure that I would get from like an AliExpress vendor or something like that. Um, I love the concept of this. It saved me a lot of time. It says that it's like a 70% time difference with installation since I made mine a wig like lining it up was a little difficult but it's definitely doable it's definitely beginner friendly so if this is your first time making a wig this would be a good starter kit to kind of piece it together my only like really negative thing about this well I have like two cons the length it just was not a true 16 inch to me it was just very short and because it, and it was kind of thin so I ended up cutting it to give it more of a fuller look and then my other like con with this hair is that the frontal was so thick like thick 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 I had to do a lot of plucking and I still didn't even plug mine um that much I don't have this like tacked down and secured so it's just literally popped on my head right now but it still looks good but yet yeah, if they can get the pieces to be a little fuller and if they can get the frontal to be a little thinner I think that they have a winner like I said I love the concept of this thing it's very easy one two three and you're done you can knock this out install it and everything within two hours the actual installation process with me putting it on my head that included cutting it took 10 minutes top so um but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, it is pack hair, and I know we've kind of like upgraded our lifestyles from pack hair, but this is a great, like if you need something real quick, you need to go to the beauty supply, but you want to make a wig, or you want something a little better quality, this is definitely a winner. So yeah, stay tuned for the installation process and the construction of this wig after this clip. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is how the hair comes packaged. You get your frontal piece, your top piece, your middle piece, and your bottom piece. And once it's all done, this is what you should end up with. So I'm going to put mine on a wig cap so I can take it on and off. This is the wig cap that I use. It does have an adjustable band in the back. 
and here is the pamphlet that comes with the package and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the hair start with the frontal piece and this is what it looks like I already took mine to my head and measured it and it does fit perfectly ear to ear for me so I didn't have to do any cutting but now I'm just measuring it up on my wig cap and I'm going to secure it on each end and then I'm going to go in the back and sew along the back side of the frontal And this is what you should end up with once you finish cutting, well, once you finish sewing the frontal on, and I'll also cut all the excess lace off in the back. Next, I'm going to move on to the bottom piece, and we're basically going to work our ways up. So I'm starting by laying that bottom piece, lining it up with the bottom part of my wig, and then I'm just going to stitch along um, that round top part and I also went in I didn't show this part on camera but I also went in afterwards and sewed along the bottom to secure it at the bottom this by far was the easiest piece to sew on um, mainly because everything was out of your way and it was just easy to stitch right along that round top part Now we're moving on to the middle piece and this is what it looks like. So it has that curved bottom that you round that you kind of place along that bottom piece and then it curves around at the top. So this was the hardest piece to sew on. Measuring it up was really difficult because you want to make sure that you don't overlap it at the bottom, but you also want to make sure you leave enough space at the top for the top piece. So um yeah I started by stitching along the top part first I did get it measured up okay but it did kind of overlap at the bottom piece with the with the bottom piece I thought it would be an issue but once I finished the wig you couldn't really tell so now I'm just starting and I'm stitching along the top and then once I finish stitching along the top this is important like I said this is the most difficult piece so then you're going to go along the sides and make sure that you stitch it along the sides as I'm doing here and this was hard because the hair kept falling over and yeah it was just difficult but it is doable so you're going to stitch along these side parts and then you're going to lift the middle piece up and attach it to the bottom layer um, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing because the hair just kept falling but you can always take your time with this um, it is doable it's gonna be a little work but you can get it done so now that's what I'm doing now and I'm going to just connect those two pieces together And then we're going to move on to the top piece. Um, so if you do this right, this top piece should fit perfectly within that space. Mine was slightly off, but um, for my first try, I think it ended up working out pretty well. So yeah, gonna repeat the same process, stitch along the top part and then lift the hair up and stitch along the bottom. And when you're all done, the wig should look a little something like this. So now I'm just kind of combing through, making sure everything is falling into place right. I don't see any gaps or anything. So next, I'm going to move on to customizing the frontal. So like I mentioned in my intro, this frontal, ugh, this frontal was super thick. So I had to do a lot of plucking. I personally hate frontals because I hate doing all this extra work. Um, but yeah I had to do a lot of plucking um, yeah it was just super thick here is a side-by-side -side comparison of what I did pluck 
compared to the other side that I did not pluck and I still wasn't even finished plucking that one side but you can see like the difference on how thick it is and how much you do have to pluck this hairline now moving on to the installation part this is how the hair looks when it's done they did claim that you can dye the hair so I did take some bleaching powder and 30 volume developer to see if the hair would lift and it did lift slightly um, I didn't want to do too much damage so now I'm just prepping my hair I have my hair slicked back and I'm just throwing a wig cap and I'm just gonna gel my edges back a little bit so they're out of the way and then I'm gonna cut the lace and place the wig onto my head so this is the wig off top um, the lace was a nice brown color which I really appreciated because sometimes the lace is too light and it's just a mess um, but yeah I really like that the lace color was a nice like chocolate brown color it matched perfectly with my skin and now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to style it it claims that it is 16 inches but it is falling like a 12 inch and it just looked really thin and choppy to me so I'm just going to take some scissors and give it a quick little blunt cut and just to add some fullness and shape to the hair and after I did that I ran my flat iron through it and that was pretty much it this hair was really easy to style my whole clip with putting this wig on my head was less than 10 minutes so yeah that is pretty much it I hope you all enjoyed this video definitely check out this Janet collection triple X and also make sure you guys check out Cosmo biz I will be sure to leave links down below in the description box and I'll see you all next time bye